Hello gardeners. I have been missing in action since the end of March. Ever since we have been shut down, I have been totally focused on this, this family I have that God has blessed me with. So although I have been gardening, I haven't been making any videos. Um, I haven't had a whole bunch of time to garden because it seemed like the summer break came early. It was just, you know, we had to teach, we had to become teachers. Um, so this school year, distant learning will continue in our family and our household. And I just wanted to share our learning space with you guys. We took a spare bedroom that was used for growing and transformed it into my, my baby's or our baby's um, um, genius training center. Here is the decorated door with some great affirmations. Let's see. When we walk in, we have another affirmation over here. I can put in more time and effort. I want them all to come in here knowing that they have to put in the max, max effort. And, and time isn't up until the work is complete that day. <laughs> we don't get out of school at 2.30 or 3 o'clock. We'll get out of school when, when work is complete. Um, here's our calendar. We have more affirmations on the wall. Here's where my kindergartner will sit. I'm sorry, my first grader. These came from his teacher, so I put those on the wall. Those are his um, frequent words or, you know, the words he have to learn for first grade, which he knows. He knows those words. He's a smarty pants, smart boy. Here, my second grader is working on geometry this year. So we have some 2D and 3D shapes here for him to help him out if needed. This will be our little reading corner, a little corner for our books. We haven't filled the shelves up yet. Here's where our eighth grader will be sitting. She said she wanted a window seat and we have a little reminder for her that she does come up with some creative solutions. She's a, a very smart girl. This is our, our straight A student, Gabby. She's um, in the academically intelligent and gifted program at her school. Um, here's where my fourth grader will sit, Christian. I also have some multiplication tables there to help him out. I know he'll be working on division this year, so <clears throat> Here's a little help, the same help he would have inside his classroom. And here's where my kindergartner, my baby girl, she starts school this year. She's going to be a kinder. She's already reading three letter words. She's a very smart girl, but I have the alphabets, colors, and numbers, just like it would be in the kindergarten classroom. Um, and we have more affirmations. So I just wanted to share with those parents who may be a little discouraged about um, virtual learning or distant learning. You can just create a small space. You don't, you may not have a, a whole bedroom, but you may have a corner. You can create a space with a desk and a few affirmations and just a little help like the multiplications or the shapes or you know anything. Amazon is a great resource um, and they deliver pretty quickly. So I encourage you ladies or you gentlemen, parents to, to try that out, to try out Amazon for some great um, school supplies for virtual learning, for distant learning. We have a calendar. We'll make a birthday pin so that when, if there's a birthday in the month, uh, in that month, we'll put a pin on that date. And on that date, they'll wear a, a birthday hat <laughs> um, for their Zoom meetings for class with their classes <clears throat> and balloons on their chair. You know, just like at school, just make it fun. And that's what I plan to do. I'm going to make it fun. We're going to have a great time and we're going to be learning. And mommy's a little bit tougher than a teacher. 
So my eighth grader isn't too happy about distant learning, but she'll be all right. She'll be happy once she graduates early <laughs> and go to college on a fully paid scholarships. She'll be happy. All of them will. But I just wanted to share this, gardeners, and I know this has nothing to do with gardening, but I know there's some parents out there that may be a little bit frustrated, so I wanted to share it. I am still gardening. This year has been very peculiar. We all know the weather has been super wet here in um, North High Point, North Carolina. We didn't get a lot of hot days, so even fruit ripening has been you know, a task. It's been strange. It's taken longer and now we're going into the fall. So today I'll be cleaning out all of my tomatoes. I'm over the tomatoes now because there are too many green tomatoes still left on the plant. But, um, and I'll be sharing, hopefully sharing some gardening with you guys soon. Um, but my babies are here and they're the priority. Although we are the gardening, I'm not focused on making videos. I'm focused on watering and feeding and harvesting and getting back in here and, you know, being a mommy um, and soon being the full-time teacher with distant learning, which I love. I don't mind. I love it. I'm happy they're here with me. So I'll know where my babies are in their education. And if they need help, I'm there to help right away. I don't have to wait for the teacher to tell me, you know, if there's a problem. So enjoy your weekend gardeners um i hope you're getting your fall gardens ready i will be soon and happy gardening